This is an iPod that I purchased. It's a Generation 4. I bought it used, as you can see. It's got some scrack, uh, scratches and cracks on it, but uh, the screen works, everything works. I picked it up for $15 um, for my kids, and so I purchased this cover here on eBay, and I'll put a link in the description below where you can buy it. It is one of the more affordable cases, but I bought it because it covers everything uh, as much as it can. It covers the button because I'm going to be letting my kids use it, and it covers the lens here. It covers most of the cracks that are on this iPod. And so I figured I'd buy this one. It's a soft rubberized outside and then a rigid hard case on the inside. It's got a flap here to cover for the plug and it even comes with a uh, screen protector. So it's a great deal. Let's go ahead and uh, get it on. We'll clean the screen up here. Now you just want to make sure that these are uh, absolutely dust free when you put this on. And this should show you, let's see, peel off this mask after application is completed. Okay, so the green side is going to be touching the actual iPod. And I've applied a number of these so I just want to make sure you want to get it right over the button. Almost got it. And then once you get it on, don't take it off because you'll get a lot of dust underneath it. A little bit crooked. And what I mean by that is after it's been on for a long time, we're just trying to seat it right now. Oh, all the uh, cracks are kind of making it bubble up more than it would. Okay, let's see how this goes. Well, I think that's as good as it's going to get. As you can see, all around the cracks, it's just kind of bubbling it up. And these small air bubbles you can dissipate out. Okay, so we got that on. Now we'll go ahead and peel the top off. Okay. Now let's get it in this hard case. First we're going to take off the rubber. All right. Now we need to pop off the... This is a two-part piece. Okay, that looks like it's on pretty good. It's not really raising up anywhere. Uh, it's pretty secure. It's not coming apart either. So let's go ahead and put the rubber sleeve on it. Okay, it looks like it is all on. 
feels good. Now the iPod is so thin that a case like this, which is pretty bulky, it brings it to the same thickness, more or less, of a uh, iPhone 4. This is a 4S. So that's actually not bad. It doesn't feel bad in the hands. Button works. Very cool. Let's try the camera. See if it's, no, it's not blocked or anything. So awesome. So there you have it. That is the review of this case. You can buy it on eBay. Like I said, I'll put the link in the description below. And if you're going to be getting an iPod for kids, this is definitely something you want to get. Something that covers as much of the phone as possible in both a rigid and soft body. So it's really the best of all worlds. I probably will, however, cut this off. Uh, because I don't, I know that my kids will play with that. But, uh... Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just leave it on and just tell them not to touch it. So anyway, there you have it. Thanks for watching. Hope that helps in uh, making your uh, purchase, deci blah, 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 purchase decisions. Have a good day.